Hi there, uh, my name is Ben McPherson. I'm a writer and performer and theatre maker based in Nottingham in the UK and this vlog series is going to be a little look at what it is like being a creative freelancer. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are on my mind, what I've been going for and working out over the course of the week, uh, partly so that I'm <laughs> accountable and can sort of look back over what I've actually worked on and partly in case you folks out there maybe are interested in becoming a creative so you can see what I'm doing, maybe learn from some mistakes I will no doubt make, um, or also if you are already soaring in the heights of creativity you might have some tips in which case please let me know, um, I'd really really appreciate that. Comments down below, um, maybe drop a like if you're feeling generous. Um, so a bit about me, uh, I'm Ben, like I said I'm 28 years old. I've been working in different types of entertainment for about, I think, 14 years, off and on. Um, I started off at school doing uh, light, sound and tech work for various different productions, a few school things, a couple of community theatre projects, and working on a couple of professional shows as well as sort of in-house tech operation. Um, that was very cool, and whilst I was there, I started to get the itch to actually perform myself. <laughs> I can remember watching a version uh, the school did of Les Miserables and um, noticing first of all how the light bounced off one of the leading men's eyes making them look particularly demonic um, and secondly thinking oh that's not so hard I could have a go at that. Um, of course that stuff is hard um, but the drive to actually have a go was was still very true and, and true to this day I will turn my hand to most types of theatre work. When I came to the end of school I was getting involved in stand-up comedy for the first time doing a few local gigs. Uh, I can remember one time uh, I, was gig uh, I was on a holiday up in Newcastle with my family and a tiny little local gig um, was having a show and I was very keen to keep doing that so I paid for a train to take me back from Newcastle back into London out to Chelmsford which is where this gig was and then back the following day uh, to catch up with my family again um, sort of treating it like it was live at the Apollo or one of the big sort of gigs thinking oh well, if I keep doing this the work will keep coming in um, and it was a lovely lovely community of folks based in Chelmsford um, and Essex um, but ultimately it wasn't much in the way of career progression coming out of it so I probably needn't have done the sort of six hour train journey but we did it anyway because that's what you do when you're enthusiastic about stuff. When I came to university I got involved with improvisation uh, and improv theatre became the mainstay of my life for probably the next five years. A uh, mixture of comedy, improv, sort of uh, narrative and dramatic improv. I got involved with both the University Society and one of the local Nottingham groups called Miss Imp, which I'm still involved with to this day. Started learning as much as I could about improv and at this time also doing a little bit of writing trying to get some work put out on the university radio network um, which I did and uh, was contributing to a sketch show pretty regularly there. I was also starting to write things for myself. When I finished university I started looking around for work. I knew I wanted to be involved in the creative industries, making shows, performing, doing as much of that as I could, but I also needed to you know, pay for food and rent and not die in a ditch. Um, so I took up a little job at one of the high street banks in the UK um, and I've been doing a little bit of work experience with them over the summer and did a bit of sort of regular work. So I had a bit of experience going into it. And I remember I told myself I was going to only do this for four months. I was going to do it till Christmas. And then they offered me a full-time contract. Uh, so I said, OK, well, I'll do this for two years. And two years sort of flashed by and we were approaching five years. And I was like, oh, I should probably think about actually 
getting out and getting on with what I want to be doing with my life. Um, and then five years passed and six years started approaching and I made the decision to apply for voluntary redundancy when it got offered. So I sort of made myself jump or pushed myself. I don't know. <laughs> I, I pushed myself to jump out of the aeroplane of comfortable employment. Whilst this work was going on, I was still writing a lot, performing a lot, doing a mixture of plays, uh, sketches, poetry, and I'd also written some solo uh, character comedy plays for myself as well. And I'd taken uh, one of those up to Edinburgh in 2017 and 2018, and I'd also done a few different local things with the other ones as well. I saw a little bit of success with these plays, um, lots of lovely things said by people who come to watch them. I was doing well with word of mouth about my shows, uh, and so the trajectory of that was going along really nicely. I was also starting to teach the skills that I'd learned over the course of sort of eight years of doing uh, the work I'd been doing, so teaching me to writing, teaching some performance skills, and then also the sort of corporate applied elements of those as well, so using improv for communication, creativity, confidence, that sort of thing. So when I took the voluntary redundancy, I got a little bit of a payout, which went towards savings I was already building up. I had made up in my mind that I was going to be ending my time with that bank, uh, doing the normal nine to five over the summer, thinking, you know what, when August comes around, uh, you will leave you will do a full uh, run up at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, working on promoting your show, building contacts, working on some other people's shows, trying to make as much of a noise about myself as I could. Unfortunately, this exactly coincided uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic. So when the offer of voluntary redundancy came up and I applied for it, uh, it was a month and a half into the first UK lockdown, um, I rolled the dice, basically thinking, okay, well, recovery will happen before too long. And of course, it kind of didn't at all. We're still not really back yet. Um, there's a lot still rebuilding. Um, and when I found out I did have the redundancy, I thought, okay, that's going to give me another few months to get things together, get back on top of it until you are ready to go and working in all the shows and getting industry contacts and rolling in the aisles of making art and theatre. Um, by the time I left in November 2020, we were heading into the second or maybe even third national lockdown in the UK. Um, unfortunately, I'd already signed the redundancy thing, uh, saying I will take the money and go. Um, but in that time, I did start to work on more writing for myself, um, getting work that's sort of getting ready to share uh, with people. Um, and that was nine months ago. And I've done a little bit of work since then, some really, really fun performing stuff, doing work for families and kids, um, working with some really lovely people. Um, but again, the arts industry in the UK is still very much recovering. Um, it was one of the most neglected industries um, out there, and um, it's, it's tough, especially if you're sort of trying to make it for the first time, really, um, I was very lucky I was able to save up and build this sort of financial parachute um, that I'd hoped to sort of use. And by the time that that money was running down, I would be sort of picking it up with a lot more work. And I'm learning that it's not quite as simple as that. Um, I jumped with my assumptions and... Fortunately, the parachute is still there, um, but also I am learning more about the hustle of being a creative, and that's sort of partly what I'll be talking about in these vlogs. Um, but that's where we are. It's the first week of August 2020, and I'm still working on it. And right now, that's enough. Um, 
what have I done this week? Uh, so, uh, I have applied for the Players Playwright, no, the Playhouse Playwright program at the Oxford Playhouse, uh, which is a really cool program that supports writers developing work in partnership with the Oxford Playhouse. Uh, they've got different workshops uh, that run throughout the year. It's uh, led by a really experienced dramaturgist, and you get to work pretty closely with a group of six people as it goes ahead, and I'm really hoping I get that because I think that'd be a fantastic experience and I want to explore more with writing uh, plays because I love live performance. I think that's where my big strength lies as uh, a writer and a performer. Um, I have also done a couple of uh, planning sessions for a couple of contests I'm going for. There's the uh, How Do You Do? Uh, twisted Christmas project that I am going for, which is sort of looking for dark and twisted uh, Christmas stories and sort of an Inside Number Nine, Twilight Zone kind of feel, uh, which sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Inside Number Nine is one of my favourite uh, TV shows, so very, very happy to have a chance at uh, turning my hands to something like that. And then there is also uh, uh, the Bitter Pill Project, which is uh, a podcast series working on making more little plays, um, and I'm sketching out some ideas for that. Uh, both of those have a closing date, I think, in the next week or so for the Oxford Playhouse, and there's, I think I'm about a month away from the other two um, full writing projects. I'll pop links to those down below. Um, I believe that with the arts there is work for everyone, and we don't need to compete against each other. Sharing and raising each other up is going to do more for the arts than trying to sort of hoard opportunities. Um, we're a creative community and battling with each other over opportunities is redundant because we want to entertain people. Let's get the best work we can out there. Um, that's my philosophy anyway. Um, that comes from improv, I hope. I believe. I believe. Um, yeah, so that is a little update of who I am, where I am. As these go forward, I'll talk about different sort of ideas and theories in my head about the work I'm doing, share some experiences. Maybe if you guys have tips or questions, I can answer those. If you've got any of those, chuck them in the comments below. Uh, happily go through those. Um, also, um, I will whack a link to my uh, coffee in the bottom. So if you want to chuck me a quid or two, if you found this interesting, or if you find the run of these interesting, then please, yeah, let me know. I'd really appreciate that. In the meantime, you are excellent people. Um, keep chasing creativity and the things that you care about. And have a lovely day. I'm Ben McPherson. Bye.